So the Walmart statement suggested, they, they said recession is the reason that their earnings will be short, but they suggested that maybe real recession is higher than 9%. What do you think that the real, the actual experienced number is for people? Oh, oh, oh. What we're paying at the grocery store each month has increased by nearly Everyone is talking about inflation, and for good reason. It's everywhere. There's no escaping it. This month's annualized inflation rate was recently announced, and it's a whopping 9.1%. And the trend doesn't look good. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics also published these numbers. But frankly, it feels even higher than that. I wanted to know what's really going on right here on the ground. Thanks to online grocery ordering and grocery pickup, we have exact records of what we paid for our groceries a year ago. I went to my Walmart grocery app and made a list. I only included items I had a price for in the first half of 2021 and that I buy regularly from Walmart. I multiplied the prices by the average number I purchase in a month, anywhere from one half if I buy it every other month, to 40 if I buy a whole lot of them every single month. No wonder those numbers on the screen don't seem to adequately describe what I'm feeling. My personal grocery inflation rate, 22.8%. And that's without accounting for shrinkflation. There are two products that I happen to know that change in product size offhand. Lean Cuisine pizzas decreased in size by 12%. When you factor that in, the price increase goes from 48%, already crazy high, to 69%. Pantene conditioner decreased in size by 10%. Factoring that in, the price increase goes from 23% to 36%. I'm sure at least some of the other products I purchase regularly have made these subtle decreases as well. I'm just not familiar enough with them to notice. But even without accounting for the shrinkflation, what we're paying at the grocery store each month has increased by nearly 23%. And seeing as how groceries account for the largest share of our disposable income, and here I'm using disposable income to refer to what we have left after we pay all the have to pays, mortgage, homeowners insurance, utilities, prescriptions, etc. Since groceries account for the lion's share of what's left, we're really feeling the pinch. How about y'all? Have you noticed any items that have seen particularly high price increases? or noticed any of your favorites shrinking just a bit? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time. I think it has to do with um, the uh, ambiguity about the length of that word is what it has to do with. I think it has to do with the ambiguity about the length of that word. 10 letters, that's the length of that word. About an inch, given standard font.